Now I'm going to show you how to print and save documents in the user box folders that we've already set up on our printer. So the key here is that if we were going to print this image of the frogs over and over, if there were a company brochure of one type or another, we can print this document and print any settings attributed to the document so that people are able to walk up to the printer itself, open the folder we set up, find this document, and just say they want to print one or ten or twenty of these documents, and they're going to get the same high quality results each and every time without ever needing to know even how to use the machine. So here's how we go about doing that. We open the document that we want to save into the folder, and really what we're doing is we're printing it into that folder that's already set up. So we're going to say File, Print, just like if we were going to print it on paper, and we're going to go to the Properties tab on the printer, and we're going to select the Basic tab. Now what we want to do, just so I can show you some special settings, let's say that we had a paper that we wanted this document printed on in drawer number two, where we have maybe a heavier cardstock or a bright white paper for nicer images. I can make any necessary settings. In this case, I'm going to say print on tray number two. And once I have the settings to print the document to my desired result, I'm going to come over here where it shows output method. And usually it's going to be set to print, meaning if I said OK, it's going to print it on a piece of paper. But in this case, I'm going to click the down arrow and I'm going to say save in user box. Then I'm going to go to User Settings, and I'm going to say the file name here is going to be Frogs. And the user box number, I have eight files or folders set up on my printer. In this case, we're going to print to folder number eight, which we just set up in an earlier video. And so the name of the document is going to be Frogs, and it's going to be in folder number eight. So we simply say OK. And then we're doing just what we would do when we print. We say OK, and we say print. We're actually printing the document into folder number eight where it will be named Frogs. So that's done. You've now successfully printed and saved this document where people can walk up and recall it directly from the printer. And we're going to show you how to do that on the next video.